To say that Napoleon Bonaparte was a big deal in spite of his supposedly short stature is no stretch. He was Brigadier General, First Consul, His Excellency, His Imperial Majesty, but victim of a vicious bunny attack? What happened that lazy summer morning in 1807? Did the great military might, or perhaps the greatest military mind the world has ever known, fall prey to his would-be prey? The short answer is we. Oui. The common rabbit, also known as Erythalagus caniculus, doesn't generally make the list of top 10 ferocious mammals likely to gnaw on human neck bones or eviscerate you for breakfast. Cuddly conies are more often reminiscent of Easter, fuzzy slippers, and logarithmic rates of reproduction. How did such mild-mannered lagomorphs turn feral on the great emperor of France? Mistake number one. Napoleon asked his chief of staff and minister of war, Louis Alexander Berthier, to organize a hunt on his behalf. Berthier, though a competent chief of staff, was a deplorable minister of war. This was very relevant to what ensued. More on that later. The loyal chief gathered together somewhere between 500 to some 3,000 rabbits for a vigorous hunt that Napoleon and some of his most prominent captains and commanders would partake of. This would be followed by a languid luncheon in the French countryside. <laughs> Mistake number two, Napoleon underestimated his enemy. Once the cages were opened, the bunnies bolted forward, armed with paws and claws, full of sound and fury and fur, the bunny brigade charged, outnumbering and outmaneuvering Napoleon and his men. The great military strategist and master of weapons and tactics was quickly flanked on two sides and subdued. The rabbit skittered up Napoleon's silken breeches and clawed at his gold adornments, perhaps at some point knocking off his famous and quintessential bicorn hat while tearing at his lapels and clawing themselves into a frenzied cloud of tattered velvet, blood, and froth. Mistake number three, Napoleon's miserable minister of war Louis Berthier had procured domesticated rabbits sourced from local farms and villages. Unlike their wild counterparts, these gentrified creatures ran toward rather than away from Mama. the would-be hunters. So instead of being too feral, they were actually too tame. They were looking for a handout. Not finding Napoleon with his hand out, the rabbits turned rabid. They had gone mad with hunger and kept advancing. Though Napoleon tried beating them back with sticks and guns, the great general couldn't overcome this velveteen revolt. Instead, the hunters were being hunted. Napoleon threw down the last shreds of his imperial ego and started hightailing. He hopped into his emperor's carriage and attempted to flee into the hills. The rabbits sent out an elite force which managed to infiltrate the inner sanctum of Napoleon's carriage. Although he was known as a genius when it came to diversional tactics, Napoleon really never had a chance to employ any tactics whatsoever. Ultimately, he had to resort to manhandling the last few wascally wabbits out of his carriage. Chagrin, a word of French origin meaning deep embarrassment or distress and humiliation. Remember our friend Louis Berthier? Seems he died not too long before Napoleon's greatest and last defeat at Waterloo. According to some historians, Berthier fell, jumped, or was assisted out of a three-story window. One theory held that he was attacked by six masked men from the secret society of Neuchâtel. Another possibility is that the bunnies had waited eight years to demand the free lunch they never got.